What's up everybody, I'm CE Tech 2 Thanks for coming back to my channel and watching this video. If you're watching this right now, then you're awesome and I appreciate you watching. Yeah, you're cool. All right guys, today's video is gonna be about Fortnite Mobile again and the reason why I'm making this video is because you're probably curious what controllers work with Fortnite Mobile now that they support Bluetooth controllers. Well, guess what? Old C Tech Dude here, that's me, is here to answer that question for you. I've got six different controllers I'm gonna be testing today and I'm gonna be testing mostly on Android devices because iPhones, iPads only work with a very limited amount of controllers. So I do have one I'm gonna be testing on that for you, but this is mostly gonna be about Android device support because they support a whole lot of controllers. So here we go guys, six controllers gonna be testing for you. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a like and also consider subscribing. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. So here we go, let's get down to testing. All right guys, so the first controller I'll be testing today is the Xbox 360 controller. A blast from the past, you say, yes, that is true. Now I've got a whole bunch of these laying around because I have Xbox 360 still that just kind of collect dust, unfortunately. And I was like, hey, maybe this will work with Fortnite Mobile. Well, I'm here to disappoint you guys. Um, it does not. So first off, these are not Bluetooth controllers. These use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, I believe, to connect to your Xbox 360 and your phone won't be able to use that. So there is a way to get it to work. You can either use it wired using an OTG adapter, like I mentioned in the PlayStation 4 video I made earlier about the PlayStation 4 controller for Fortnite. So you can use that and it connects fine, but the right thumbstick does not work, unfortunately, which makes gameplay very hard. Uh, trust me, it's impossible. So unfortunately, this one almost works perfectly, but there's a lot of limitations to it. So I would not recommend this controller for Fortnite Mobile, sorry. Let's keep going. The next controller I'm gonna be testing for you guys is of course the SteelSeries Nimbus. Now this is the one that is made for iPhone and it works perfectly on your iPhone and iPad for Fortnite Mobile. Yes, that's true, it works great. $50 at Best Buy, works for iPhone. Well, let me tell you, it does not work for Android very well. Now I will say it connects fine your Android device, pairs fine, but the buttons are all messed up. Uh, they don't work, half, some of them don't work, but most of them are just not, they don't map correctly. So if you push a button, doesn't do what you expect it to do, that's gonna be pretty annoying, pretty steep learning curve. Would not recommend this for Android. Definitely recommend it for iPhone though. So go get this for $50 for your iPhone if you wanna play Fortnite Mobile on your iPhone. Get some kills, this is the one to get, boom. The next controller that I'm be testing, guys, which I already tested and let you know how to make it work already in this video right here. It's a PS4 controller. You, it does work if you know how to make it work. Watch that video I recommended for you. Otherwise, don't pick this up unless you're willing to spend $20 on an adapter because that's the only way to get this working right now with Fortnite Mobile, unfortunately. This also will not work on iPhone or iPads. Sorry, guys, I know you keep asking about that. And I'm here to tell you, no, it does not work for iPhone and iPads at the moment. Maybe in the future, I don't know. That'd be cool. But for now, only get this if you're willing to buy a $20 adapter. That's all I got to say about that. Thanks. Okay, guys, and the next controller I'm going to be testing is the PS3 controller. Now, this one does not work with Bluetooth on Android or iPhone, but there is a way to get this controller working perfectly, and that's to use an OTG adapter to your Android device, like here, and a mini USB cable. And you also have to have an app called Six Axis Enabler that you can get from the Play Store. I think it's about $2.50. But once you get those all combined and uh, plugged in and downloaded to your phone, this controller works perfectly. Um, no input lag, no button mapping. Just plug it in, enable it with the Six Axis Enabler app, and you'll be good to go. And let me tell you, this one works awesome. I was really surprised. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Bluetooth and it only works on Android devices, no iPhone or iPad support. But if you have all those tools, the OTG adapter, the mini USB cable, the controller, and the six axis enabler app, you'll be good to go. And you can play this wired, works perfectly. All right. If you want a full video of me setting all that up, uh, let me know in the comments. If not, no big deal. Um, it's pretty easy once you get all those things that you need. So there you go, guys. Thanks.
Now, another controller I'm be testing. This is the Power A controller for the Nintendo Switch. Really like the design of this controller, but unfortunately, this one does not work very well at all for your Android device. It'll pair okay, but the buttons are all jacked up. They do not input correctly, so if you push the wrong button, it's gonna not work. So I would not recommend getting this controller, unfortunately, for your Android device or iPhone device. Don't get this, thanks. Now, guys, comes the best controller for Fortnite Mobile at this time. This is the Xbox One controller. Now, let me tell you, this one works perfectly as long as you have the correct Xbox One controller. So see how this one is all matte plastic around the Xbox logo? That means it's Bluetooth. That means it's gonna work. But if yours has shiny plastic that looks similar to like it does on top right here, that is not gonna work. That is not a Bluetooth Xbox controller. I didn't know that until recently, and I wanna let you know that you have to have the right controller for this to work, but if you do have the right controller, it works amazingly well. So definitely get the Xbox One controller if you don't already have one for Fortnite Mobile for your Android device. This will not work on iPhone. Sorry guys, but it just does not work. There you go. Now, the last controller I'm gonna be showing you guys this is gonna only really work for a very limited amount of, of you guys. This is the Moto Mod Gamepad. Only works for the Moto Z series of phones, but let me tell you, if you have the Moto Z series of phones, this works perfectly for Fortnite Mobile. All the buttons work correctly. Everything works flawlessly. The only thing is, the button layout on the actual A, B, X, Y buttons are a little, little different. So they work fine, but they're a little confusing if you're used to Xbox or PS4 controllers. So that's the only bad thing about this, but everything else works perfectly. And um, $50 right now at Best Buy, if you have a Moto Z phone, consider getting this one if you want to. Works great. Otherwise, get the Xbox controller because that works great too. All right, guys, that's about all I have today. Hopefully that was helpful to you. I think the winner overall for best controller for the Fortnite mobile experience on Android is the Xbox One controller. Definitely get this if you're considering getting a controller. And if you're on iOS, your selections are limited, but the SteelSeries Nimbus works fine as well. So if you're on iOS, consider getting this because the other controllers will not work at this time. Now there are other controllers for iOS. Make sure you get the made for iPhone variants. But that's all I got for right now for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave that like and I will see you next time with another cool video. I'm CE Tech Dude and you just got CE Tech. See you next time. Have a great day and a great night. Thanks a lot guys. See ya.